Hi folks, my name is Zach Padilla. I'm the product specialist and sommelier here at the liquor store and wine loft of Jackson Hole. Today we, our theme is Carmenere. Now we haven't done this before so we want to make sure we point out a couple things. Today we're tasting the Arnal Carmenere, one of my favorites. I believe this is the 2009, yes. The Apple Tagua, uh, 2010, one of my old time favorites. And a new one to my palate, this is the uh, Santa Rita Medalla Real uh, Carmenere. This is their, uh, basically their reserve. This is a 2008, all from Chile. Uh, so let's jump in, see what we think. Arnal Carmenere, nice day-to-day -day drinker, great price point, love this one. So I had a little trouble with this one before though. There's something about Carmenere I just couldn't put my finger on. And then uh, one of the uh, reps out here, John Brzezinski says, perfectly, Carmenere has a very low acidity. A low acidity is perfect for spicier foods. So picture this one with a pepper crusted filet mignon like we've spoken about before, but uh, maybe do some green bell pepper or some jalapenos or you know throw something else in there where we can have some really unique qualities to the uh, to the dish uh, but also like a, like a spicier fish dish or something like that it's a lighter wine it's not too intense perfect absolutely great example but big calling card here just as always green bell pepper on the nose it is like fresh cut green bell pepper absolutely gorgeous there's still a little bit of peppery spice to this as well though, like a black pepper. We're getting a little bit of uh, juicy fruit here, that blueberry, a little bit of blackberry, more fresh of those, those fruits than anything else, that uh, raspberry, uh, plummy kind of characteristic, but it's all very fresh fruit. Absolutely echoes on the palate with that fresh, juicy fruits raspberry blackberry blueberry getting a little bit of that black pepper spice definitely green bell pepper on the palate as well uh, that lower acidity so you know i might swallow once maybe twice you know a lower acidity will do that but then what's really nice though too is you're still getting a little bit of that earthy kind of characteristic you're getting a little bit of molasses from the oak that's being used getting a little bit of tannins so again a meaty you know hearty maybe spicy dish perfect with these wines. We'll move on. The Apple Tagua. I don't know if anybody's familiar with Carmenere out there, but uh, Carmenere originally was known to be Merlot. They transferred it from France into Chile. Uh, we're growing it and using it as Merlot for a long time. Uh, and then once they were able to develop the ability to do DNA structures and figuring out what, what was different, they found out that this was completely different, that it was Carmenere, uh, which now the Italians, I guess, are claiming, oh yeah, we make that too. So let's see what we got. Bigger green bell pepper here. I'm getting almost like a roasted green bell pepper now. We've got some toasty charcoal smoke, uh, tobacco, chocolate, vanilla. Definitely getting your juicy fruits here. A little bit more of a jammy characteristic, that blackberry, blueberry, that uh, a little bit of that raspberry still, a little bit of a tartness. You know, the last one, classic, everyday drinker. This guy, much more full, round, all over your palate. Jammy, juicy, spicy. Definitely that green bell pepper. A little bit more acidity, but I mean, this if this one had a little bit of green bell pepper, this is boom, green bell pepper, nothing but it. It's huge, but it's still got all those juicy flavors, that uh, round palate. I'm still getting that juicy, jammy, blackberry, plum kind of thing on the back palate with a little bit of mid palate spice. Beautiful wines, absolutely. We'll finish up here with the Santa Rita. This is their Medal Real uh, Carmenere Reserve 2008. All right, now just between these two, lighter colors, j uh, lighter fruit flavors, a little bit of jammy character. This one, dark. Dark, or, or just in the glass, it's a dark purple. So, yeah, we're getting that jammy, dark, rich, baked, uh, blackberry, blueberry kind of characteristics. Definitely getting that green bell pepper, maybe a little red bell pepper, but there's definitely some herbaceous, uh, fruity flavors here. Gorgeous. On the palate, exactly the same. We're still getting those classic blueberry, blackberry, plummy kind of fruits. This one, much jammier, 
a little bit more black pepper spice, a little bit more molasses and that uh, the bigger tannins and a uh, huge wine. This could easily lay down a couple of years. You'd love it that way. But it also would be great right now with a big steak because like we've said before, tannins loves fat. So we get a big fatty steak, we cut through that with a big tannic wine like this and that bell pepper kind of characteristic. Mm, I'm thinking absolutely. A nice big steak with some roasted green bell peppers, perfect. Absolutely, great wines. You can join us here every week from 4 to 7 p.m. on Fridays for our weekly wine tasting. Otherwise, we'll see you here in the store and on the web at winelickerbeer.com. Thanks for joining us. Cheers.